Mitigating production risks. Irrigation practices. Plant growth depends on properly managing irrigation. Too much or too little irrigation can compromise plant health and predispose plants to disease, especially root rots, as well as mite and insect problems. Water can also be a source of pathogens that cause disease. This is why it is important to properly manage irrigation water. We're going to look at three important concepts of water management. Water quality, drainage, and irrigation. Water quality. A water supply with high pH and alkalinity may lead to nutrient deficiencies, which is why it is important to test regularly for pathogens, pH, and other indicators that can affect plant health. The pour through technique that you see here is a great way to monitor pH and salts in container substrate. Disinfest water that is collected from production areas and reused. Drainage. Pathogen-infected water can come into contact with plants as puddled water on the ground or directly through irrigation applications. To prevent standing water, you can crown beds, properly grade roadways, raise containers, or use drain tiles. Irrigation Knowing how to manage water resources and irrigate properly is an important component to using systems-based pest management. Here are some useful guidelines. Irrigate as needed to promote plant health and consider using cyclic irrigation. Group plants into zones based on water requirements. This practice will reduce water loss and prevent weeds from growing in between blocks. A list of commonly used plants and their water requirements can be found at the following link. Substrate moisture sensors, plant weight, leaching fractions, or other techniques can be used to refine irrigation timing and volume. Use a sensor to delay or offset irrigation following rain events. Check distribution uniformity and replace nozzles regularly to avoid under or over irrigated zones. Now let's recap. Test water quality regularly and always disinfest water that is going to be reused. Promote good drainage by keeping beds raised off of the ground. This practice will prevent standing water that can contain pathogens. Know how to manage water resources and irrigate properly. Grouping plants based on their water requirements is a good example of this. The use of trade names is solely for the purpose of providing specific information. Please follow individual product labels to determine appropriate use. Alcohol and bleach are corrosive to metal and are not recommended. Funding was provided by the Southern Risk Management Education Center in partnership with the National Institute of Food and Agriculture.